Hello and welcome to One and All. My name is Lakshmi Jolly and I am an intern at Lexi and Co. I am a third year law student at New Law College, Pune. The topic for the day is Indian Sale of Goods Act, 1930. The Indian Sale of Goods Act, 1930, is a provision in the Indian judicial system wherein setting of a contract is made possible and a seller agrees to transfer the title in the goods to the buyer for a consideration. The Act has been borrowed heavily from the United Kingdom Sale of Goods Act, 1893. The Indian Act is applicable all over India except for Jammu and Kashmir. And the amendment on 23 September 1963 renamed the Act to Sale of Goods Act 1930 India. The Act is still in force in India and used in Bangladesh as well under the name of Sale of Goods Act 1930 Bangladesh. Sale of Goods Act 1930 constitutes a lot of things in in it. They are defined under Section 2 of the Act as follows. First one is contract. A contract of sale is said to be an offer to buy a good for a price or an offer to sell a good for a price and the acceptance of the offer the contract can provide specific clauses which will describe the delivery payment contract of sale will be made in writing or by speech or partly in written and speech or just be implied by both the parties this is written in section 5 sub clause 2 goods these are uh, every kind of movable property other than the actionable claims and money they also include future goods future goods are supposed to be the manufactured produced or acquired goods by the seller If by a contract of sale the seller purports to affect uh, a present sale or future goods, the contract operates as an agreement to sell the goods. Sale of goods: the contract whereby the seller agrees to transfer the property of goods to the buyer for a price. This there may be a contract of sale between one party or another or another. Mercantile agent is a type of agent where the customary course of business as the agent authority, wherein he is allowed to either sell goods to consign goods. or the purpose of sale to buy goods or to raise money on the security of goods buyer is the person who agrees to buy a good delivery is supposed to be the voluntary transfer of property from one person to another documentation of goods are a set of rules wherein bill of loading dock warrant warehouse keeper certificate wharfing certificate railway receipt rc book of a car multi domal transport document warrant or order from the delivery of goods any other document using the ordinary course of business as a proof of possession or control of goods or authorizing or seeming to authorize the possessor of a document to transfer or receive item thereby represented either by endorsement or by delivery are the documentation of goods damage damage will be termed as uh, as they no longer need to answer the contract here in the goods are damaged and of no good use to the buyer or the seller Violation is supposed to be wrongful act, which is defaultly termed as violation. The act further defines the term of sales and agreement to sale as a contract for the sale of good in which uh, the seller transfers or agrees to transfer the seller's property in goods to the buyer in exchange for a price. A contract of sale between one party and another may exist. A contract can be absolute or conditional. The contract is called a sale when the property in the goods is passed from the seller to buyer under a contract. of sale but an agreement to sell when the property of the goods is transferred from at a later time or subject to some condition that must be afterward when the time period of transferring the property in the goods expires the right here for the transferring of the property and when the agreement to sell becomes a sale for the above mentioned to work the following has to be fulfilled the contract is required in such a contract the seller sells or agrees to transfer the buyer's property in exchange for a price a sale between one part and a party and another is possible a selling contract might be unconditional or conditional if the say if the items are always in existence at the time of the agreement it's a contract of sale otherwise it's an agreement to sell that was all for indian sales of goods and art i hope you did understand each and everything thank you